I'm Kent McDill. Competitive video gaming is becoming big business as players have moved on beyond competing just against their friends through an internet connection to competing against players they don't know from around the world for significant prizes. Such competitions turned legitimate this week when the Pac-12 conference announced plans to sponsor video gaming competitions among players from their 12 schools. The Pac-12 presidents and chancellors announced this week that the Pac-12 will now hold esports competitions among their schools this coming academic year. Teams will participate in an as-yet unspecified game, and the games will include head-to-head matchups similar to a regular season game, as well as a tournament in conjunction with a Pac-12 championship event in which live human beings compete on actual physical games. Here's the best part, and why the Pac-12 continues to represent what used to be called the left coast, the open-minded mindset that West Coast people often have. The Pac-12 is publicizing the fact that video games are educational. According to the Pac-12 CEO group press release, eSports is closely tied to academic departments at Pac-12 universities such as computer science, visual and cinematic arts, engineering, and others. This is not the first step in legitimizing video game competitions on college campuses, but it is the most organized and direct. A couple of years ago, Robert Morris University in Chicago fielded the nation's first varsity eSports squad. Students earned scholarships to play video games in the pursuit of their college degrees in a variety of subjects related to the video games, such as computer networking to business. Another positive step the Pac-12 made was to recommend adding an institutional fine to the conference court and field storming policy. Starting next academic year, a school will be fined $25,000 for a field storming incident, $50,000 if it happens a second time, and $100,000 for a third time. So the Pac-12 is encouraging nerd sports while discouraging rowdy fan behavior at live sports. It's 2016, and that's the way of the sports world today. I'm Kent McDill. Thanks for watching.